There were a number of different factors that went into making Louise Ferranc the rare success that she was as a female composer in the 19th century. First of all, there was the fact that she was just very good at what she did. Her compositions were praised by composers like Schumann and Berlioz, major critics of the time. She was well respected in her own time as a composer. And then there was the fact that she really had a lot of family support. When she was 15 years old, she entered the Paris Conservatory, and girls were not allowed to be in the composition classes. But she wanted to compose, so her parents hired a private composition tutor to train her. And then after she was married, her husband really made sure that her works were publicized, and he conveniently owned a publishing house, so it's partially due to him that we still have and can enjoy uh, Ferenc's works. And then of course there was the fact that she was willing to address overt sexism head on in her own lifetime. She was the only woman in the entire 19th century to teach at the Paris Conservatory. She was paid less than all of her male peers, even those who were junior to her. So when she had a particularly successful premiere of one of her works, strong attendance, lots of positive press, she went straight to the conservatory administration and insisted that she be paid the same as her male colleagues, and they agreed. So there were all of these different factors that came together to make Louise Frank such a success.